Hilla 2.3 introduced a really cool new feature called AutoGrid. What it allows us to do is create a full-blown grid with sorting, filtering, lazy loading in a single line of code. That sounds really cool, so let's see how we can do it. All right, so I'm here in a brand new Hilla 2.3 project, and I've created some code for us so we can get right to the interesting part. So I have an order entity here. I have a JPA repository for it, and I have this database seeder, which just generates 10,000 orders into our database. So we have a big data set to work with. All right, so on the UI side, we have an empty orders view. Looks like this. So just an empty div with a missing implementation. So let's go ahead and look at how we can actually build the auto grid. The first thing we need to do is create a service. I'm going to call this order service. And order service should implement a list service, and the type will be order in our case. Order like that. All right. And this would then require us to implement a list operation here. But we're lazier than that. So we're not actually going to use this, but we're actually going to use one of the built-in implementations of this. So we're going to use list repository service. Now, this is an actual class, so we need to extend it instead of implement it. And this takes in a couple more type parameters. So one is the primary key, so that'll be long. And then the repository, which in our case will be the order repository, like this. Now it's going to complain about this because we haven't extended JPA specification executor, which is needed to actually provide all those sorting and filtering options. All right, so we're going to save that. Oh, sorry, we need curly brackets. All right, so we're going to save that. We're going to go back into our order service. Looks like this. Just clean up the imports. Looks good. And for this to get picked up, of course, we need to add a browser callable annotation here and anonymous allowed because we're not going to mess around with spring security here. We're going to build the project. And once it's built, we're going to go into our front end. All right. So in the front end, what we need to do is add a auto grid component like this. It takes in two things, a service and a model. So we're going to pass in our order service and we're going to pass in our order model like that. I'm going to close the tag, hit save and boom, there we have it. So that was all that was required to actually get a fully blown data grid that supports sorting, filtering, everything. So you see, as I'm scrolling down, it's fetching more and more data from the back end. We can actually open up the network tab here so we can actually verify that it is actually fetching more data as we're doing these operations. So it's not doing those in memory in the browser, which is good for performance. So let's go ahead and actually make this a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna add a class name here h full that way now it looks nice too and we can play around with some of the filters here so let's say we want to see all the orders that were placed on november 3rd and there we go now we only have the ones placed on a given day and we could also filter say anyone whose email starts with will there you have it a very quick introduction to the new auto grid feature in hill 2.3 let me know what you think, and if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.